So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're going to see how we can, you know, customize this a little bit, see how we can work with it using CSS. And I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so that we actually get on the real perspective on how the site would actually look on the desktop. So anyway, let's just go ahead and import a style sheet in this file real quick. So I'm going to import some styles.css, right? And now we can just go ahead and create a file called style.css and start writing our styles. So we can see that we already have the .movie class here. So I'm just going to go ahead and start working with the movie class. For example, if I say display flex to this, we're going to see that if I see on uh, the browser, we're going to immediately see it kind of like refreshes the page and we have the flex layout enabled inside this. But obviously I just want the flex direction to be column and not the default one. And what we want is a style file actually inside for the movies as well. So I'm going to have style.css here as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and import some styles, style.css right here as well. So once we do that, we're going to have access to all the styles here as well in this particular component. And what we can do is I can just say div div class name as movies and a closing div right here, right? And once we do that, we can have dot movies as a display flex as well, but we could have flex wrap as wrap so that, you know, we just don't overflow the whole screen. So here we are. Well, that's that's kind of a start. OK, so now it looks like one, two, three, four, five. We have like four or five movies in a particular row, some missing posters. Obviously, when you're performing so many network requests, this might happen. So, yeah, that's that. And what we can do is we can say that every movie has a certain width, right? So how do we do that? Well, we do that by just saying flex. I don't want it to grow. I don't want it to shrink. And the width should be 25%. Right. So once we do that, that means we are making four movies in a row and exactly four when we say that. So that's that. Right. Plus for the movies part, we can have a little bit of padding. 20 pixel doesn't hurt. And for the movie, I'm saying that image should have a width of how to and a height of auto as well or maybe a height of a hundred percent or yeah i guess that's fine so once we do that i think we should be able to see that the images should scale properly it doesn't seem like it but yeah anyway so let's just try a hundred percent width but with a height of auto but i don't think that's going to be working with all sorts of images as well but it kind of works for for the layout as of now so yeah we should be good enough all right so what we could do is we can just give it a margin of two percent right and once we do that we can just drop this to 21 so that it all adds to 25 percent so we have a two percent margin between movies and there we go we should be good enough Right, so that's that for the movies part and that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one